Good evening. All right, so tonight's review is actually a book that I received. I unfortunately do not have the physical copy on me because my children have stolen it. So good sign number one. It's called Through the Rug 2, Follow That Dog. It's a picture of it. Um, such a stinking cute book. Oh, I cannot even begin to tell you. Basically, this is the second book of a series, since it you know, has two in the title. Um, basically, it is about a grandmother and her granddaughter. Uh, grandma Emma, granddaughter is Alyssa. And she, the grandma has a magical rug dog named Domino. And in the second book, they are chasing after Domino, and there's this dog catcher trying to catch him. And it becomes very apparent that the dog catcher isn't after Domino. He's after the magic rug. Who knows? Um, and the thing is, is that the magic rug grants wishes. And so, like, Alyssa gets to try something she's wanted to do. And her grandma gets to try something she wants to do. But, of course, there are mishaps because what's the fun unless things go wrong? <laughs> And, um, you know, I really like this book because both my children are advanced readers. They come from it honestly. My husband and I have always loved to read. Kids love to read. Um, the hard part is transitioning them from books with a lot of pictures to the books with no pictures. It's sometimes hard, especially my younger one. She, she still wants all the pictures. But we've been trying to work on, well, you imagine it. What do you think it looks like? And this is a great book for that. Um, it has a few pictures, but it's not every page. So they, ha they have the basis of what the author thinks the characters look like. But they have to imagine them doing things. And I really like that personally. Um, it's easy to read. The story is so much fun. The characters are fun to play with, you know, in your head. The fact that it's a grandmother and a granddaughter is a different dynamic than what I normally see in children's books, and I'm a major fan. So, um, you know, it's just, it's, my kids are aged five and seven, but they both read on like a second to fourth grade level, and they still find this interesting. They find it fun, and... It's, it's meant for kind of that mid-range. Um, little kids can have a parent read it to them. Older kids can read it themselves. And in all honesty, it's just a fun book. Um, it's the second one in the series, so if you kind of want the character basis and stuff like that, go check out the first one. But um, the second one was an absolute blast. My kids have stolen it, so or else I would show it to you. <laughs> so go check it out. Let me know what you think. If you've got questions, comments, or profound thoughts, put them below. Thanks much. Bye.